Well, during the four-game losing streak, 43 points have been scored by the Bombers. And again, second half, the well goes dry at camp today if they are going to snap this streak. Charles Roberts running hard in the first half and corralled there for a short gain at the 45. Give Roberts three, and he's been the key weapon. No touchdowns in the second half the last four games. And in that span, just nine points. Yeah, and, that, and it's a game of adjustment. So that's that's partly with the coaching staff, partly with the execution on the football field. And before, speaking of execution, before this half started, Obi Khan was working on his shotgun snaps to Kevin Glenn. Second down, rush on, and Glenn finds Milt Stegel for a first down across midfield into Saskatchewan territory. Some protection this time for Kevin Glenn. He gets a chance to back in there. Charles Roberts, a nice cut block so he can get that ball out and get Milt Stegel. Milt Stegel caught the first pass of the game from Kevin Glenn and then was kind of quiet after that. That's catch number two. 56 on the year for Stiegel, who missed those three games and still remained among the receiving leaders, came into this game. Third in the league. There's that shovel toss to Roberts. And hanging on, it's Schultz. He goes back to Glenn, and they'll lose three or four more. As Scott Schultz broke up the play. Well, Scott Schultz does a nice job of getting down the field. He just keeps pushing the man he's blocking. And when he, when he does, he gets down the field and he causes all the problems for Charles Roberts, who's lined up right there in the backfield. There's a step. Now, Roberts coming underneath, but, but Schultz had got such a good push, and both these guys are. Scott Schultz and Nate Davis have come off the ball very well this afternoon. There, there's a little fake. And not a great decision for Roberts, who just lost more yards and got his quarterback hit. Before the game, I asked Scott Schultz about Eric Wilson being back in Winnipeg. He said, who are they going to bring back next, Chris Walby? Eric, a pass that batted down, almost back into the hands of Kevin Glenn. Well, Chris Walby would help them. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is a offensive line that's gone through all kinds of changes. Mike Abu Mesrick has played tackle. He's played guard. They've had to bring in Aaron Fiaconi. They've had Val St. Germain in and out of the lineup. They bring in Eric Wilson's never played tackle. He's a great football player, but has to learn a new position. I mean, all of those things can add up to disaster. And right now in this in the second quarter and the beginning of this second half, Kevin Glenn has had guys in his lap on every throw. Westwood putting it away. And Dorsey fields it at the 11. And Dominic Dorsey picks his way up to the Saskatchewan 24. 